Hey everybody. That was, that was for y'all. That was for you. I'm Rachel and welcome to my channel where I test things so you don't have to. And today we are testing cheap Christmas. No, I lied. Reverse it. And today we are testing cheap kitchen gadgets so that you can buy them for Christmas if you want. Listen, I'm gonna test things so you don't have to. I'm gonna waste my money so you don't end up wasting yours. Now, if you know me, you know I am a professional chef. And if you also know me, you know that was big fat lie. But if I can use these gadgets, that means anyone can. I'm not good in the kitchen. I'm good elsewhere. Take that as you may. All right, but yeah, I have some kitchen gadgets here that were all under 30 bucks. So let's have some fun, shall we? Ready? Let's begin. All right, now I can't do a kitchen video without putting my apron on. Oh, and putting my hair up. Golly gee, we don't need my hair floating about the food, now do we? That'll ruin the appetite real quick. <sighs> She's gorgeous. All right, so the products we have is a microwave baked potato maker, a sundae maker, a blowtorch. I just wanted to play with it. A cord organizer, a meat thermometer, and a meat shredder. So what we're gonna do first, it boils some chicken. I will not be seasoning this chicken because it is going to be for my dogs. Because I don't eat the chicken, so I'm not gonna season it. My dogs will eat it regardless. They love a bland meat. I have a hair, is it this one? It's right here. It's this, got it. Just stay where I put you. taking a while to pill. Oh, we'll just open the chicken while we wait. Now normally I would cube this and then stick it in the pot and let it boil for 10 minutes, but we're gonna use the meat shredder on the chicken. I'm hoping it works and it doesn't just work on red meat. And then uh, we're also gonna use the meat thermometer on this. So it's a two for one special over here. God bless the chicken that died for this. Here we go. Disgusting. You know? And we'll get that a boil. Boil it, boil it, boil it. Name that musical. Now we're waiting for that to boil. I think we should be testing something else. We'll go with something a little more mundane. We're doing the blowtorch at the end because I want to get through the video and like, I don't want to burn my eyebrows or my eyelashes off in the middle of it. Okay, I got it. There it is, an eyelash. It's fake. Can I still make a wish on a fake eyelash? Let's see. Nailed it. Blowtorch at the end because I don't want to burn this and I keep having to film. If I burn myself, then the video's just over. That's okay because I filmed the rest of it already. But this is to Wrap a cord. Look at it, it's already a present. It's saying get this for people. There was another eyelash. What happened to my face? Listen, this is an issue. Look at this cord dingle and dangling about. You don't want that. No one likes a dingle dangle. So how do you make this more presentable? Cause you don't want this just, how does someone function in a kitchen when their cord is doing this? Not a chance. What you do, open this. Oh my God, I did not realize it came with six of them. Well, I'm gonna go with black, cause it matches. Oh, you know what? You're probably supposed to like wipe it down real quick. We're just gonna put it over the warning label that's here. Wipe her down. Electrical shock hazard, yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. So here, this ya, this ya. Let's stick that puppy right there. Boom, and then now you have place to wrap your cord. Are you boiling yet? No. Okay. Look at this. Come here. Okay, I'll come to you. You don't move. Look at how neat that is. I mean, okay, actually that's pretty nifty. I think I'm gonna do it to my blender too. Hold on. Okay, look at this. I don't want that. Wait, are you able to wrap? Hold up, I think I just discovered this about my... I just discovered this about my blender. It has a thing here at the bottom to wrap up your cord for you. So you do not need a clippy clippy. Well, that was nice to learn. See, you learn something new every day. Check under your blender. It might have a self-storing cord unit. Do I have anything else to wrap up? My cord for my soda stream is too long. I don't need this much. And it's just sitting on the counter. White, because it's white. Oh, I'm so excited to be doing this, everybody. This is wonderful. And this way you don't have extra cord just spewed about. I'm gonna wrap that up tight. That's about as much as I need. Oh, I love this. All right, these, A plus. These are a yes. Because even if you're not storing it, just sometimes you need the cord to be more condensed because otherwise it's just like spewed about the counters. I give these an A plus. It is permanent, compatible with more than 70% of appliances. Where did they get that statistic? Really? What appliances are they not? Your oven? I don't know. 
All right, these A plus. We're still getting warm. Should we test the thermometer? Should we test how hot the chicken is right now on the insides? Cooking thermometer instructions. Yeah, I'll look at those later. It's 72.9 degrees in here. I'm gonna hold it. Oh my God, I'm heating up. I'm heating up. Look how hot I am. Baby girl, if we held hands, your hand would be 77.7 .7 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Oh, you can put it in Celsius if you want. I'm American, I'm stupid, I don't know how to do that. Let's check to see what the chicken is right now, and then once it's boiled, it's 104.5. I pressed hold, 104.5. Now I have to wash it, hold on. Now let's see what the chicken needs to be. Oh, oh, oh! When you open it, it turns on. When you close it, it turns off. Oh my God! Well, it's boiling and it almost boiled over. So time to start my timer. For a cooked chicken, it needs to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, well, I didn't realize, but it came with a little thing that actually had already told me that I didn't have to go find my phone. Looks like the hottest thing here has to be pork ribs, pork shoulder, or beef brisket. This is nifty. All right, now, while that's going, we still got nine more minutes on the chicken. So while we're waiting, Let's make a baked potato in the microwave, shall we? Delicious potatoes, perfect potatoes every time. Cooks in minutes, easy to use, top rack, dishwasher safe, microwave use only. Tender and fluffy. There are no instructions. Really? There's no instructions. How am I supposed to know how to do this? In the picture, it has three baked potatoes. So I am making three baked potatoes. Y'all, I have no idea how long these are supposed to go in for. I gotta Google it. You'd think they'd send you with some instructions. The thermometer people even told you the temperature of things. And they can't tell you how long it's supposed to cook in the microwave? We're only doing two. Cause it takes a lot more time if you have three. I looked it up on the Amazon where I bought it, hello. And it says at 1200 watts, two pieces, 10 minutes. So we're gonna put these in. You don't add water, you add nothing. You just put this in for 10 minutes. I didn't fork them. I didn't add water. I didn't do nothing. All right, y'all, she's cooking. We just gotta wait and put this one away. This one's sad looking. It's butt hurt. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's butt is, okay. It's time, it's time. It's been 12 minutes. Let's see here, boom. No, we need longer. We are not there yet. We are not there yet. Stick that bad boy in there. We're slowly growing at 151. 152. We're still in the one, low 150s. We got a little bit longer to go. I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Oh my goodness. The potato and the chicken are supposed to be done at the same time right now. All right, here we go, here we go. And it's burning me. It is stabbed it, I stabbed it. Okay, but we're in there now. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. Turning it off, turning it off. We did it. We got to the temperature, we were at 167. It was burning me, so I stopped. I gotta rinse this off before I stick it back in the thing. Remember to rinse it and clean it because it's contaminated and then, then you fold it. Done. Now, wait, before we shred the chicken, let's check on the potatoes. We gotta check on the potatoes real quick. Oh God, oh God, everything is done at once. This is why I hate cooking. It says it's very hot, so be careful. <laughs> All right, decided to bring you over here so we can fork it. Let's see if she Pay attention, pay attention, and see if she's ready. Here we go. Look at that steam. Look at it. Is she done? Do you hear that sizzle? Oh, she's hot. She is done. Those are two baked potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. That worked. They're sizzling inside. Do you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it or my breathing was too heavy, but it was there. All right, once they're pulled down, I'll take a bite. I'll put a little butter on it. That's all I have, salt and pepper, and I'll take a bite, but right now, you're crooked. Emily, we need to shred some chicken. There are no instructions. Oh, I think these, oh, all right. I'm gonna cut the chicken up real quick into little pieces. Delicious, the world's most bland chicken. And my dogs are gonna appreciate it so much. We're just gonna cut it up so it makes it a little bit easier in the shredder. I'm gonna stick that in there, that in there. Let's shred some chicken. I'm so excited. Here it is. Ready? And shred, 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 shred. Okay, you gotta use both hands. This is a two hand. Oh! The sun is blinding me, and I do not care because the brightest thing in this room right now is this shredder. 
Look at that! That was the easiest shredding of chicken that ever did happen on this grand earth that we call the world home. What? I don't know. This is perfectly shredded chicken. This is magical. Throw some more in here. Stick it in there. Snoop and Blaze are going to be so happy. I can't even ignore my mess. Watch this. That was it. That's all I needed to do. Shred it. Oh, like my arms and my abs and my body. It's not. It's fine. Snoop, you're not gonna believe this. You had chicken for dinner. I've never been so excited about chicken a day in my life. Two seconds to shred. I'm obsessed. These kitchen gadgets are amazing. They're cheap, amazing kitchen gadgets. It comes with this thing to scrape out anything extra you need to get out. Oh, you need to get that out, don't worry. We got it. We're silicone. You can stick us in the dishwasher. Dundee. Okay, well I got it on my phone. Now I have chicken on my phone. That's, will I remember to wash that? Probably not. And then they have this to help you clean it because Lord knows, I kinda need an, Intense cleaning after this one, but it slides right off, son. Where's my towel? I still need to eat the potatoes. I was so excited about chicken, I forgot potatoes. It's time to eat a baked potato. So we have this. I've let it cool down to an appropriate temperature. I've never let a baked potato cool down. I usually take a bite and go. Delicious. So we're gonna try to avoid that this time. We're gonna put a little butter on it. I did not have lunch and it is 3 p.m. and I am hungry. So this is my lunch. Little Pepe. Hi, Nupis. Would you like a piece of chicken? I know the answer is yes. Here you go. Bye. Now he's never gonna leave me alone. Here we go, a little salt. Here we go, baked potato. Oh, delicious. This is amazing. I love this. But this is honestly a fantastic baked potato. It cooked all the food. It's soft. I did nothing. I didn't have to fork it. I didn't have to steam it. I didn't have to do anything. And it's not in the first 10 minutes. We haven't had a bad product yet, y'all. Or am I just getting better in the kitchen? Nah. All right. Let me finish my lunch real quick. Ooh. I'm still eating. Oh, I need some water. All right. Next up is my pint ice cream maker. I've frozen the other half, it's been in the freezer for a couple days now. You're supposed to give it at least 24 hours. I gave it 72. So this little dude, you can customize your ice cream and then you eat it, okay? Now, I did dairy for Thanksgiving weekend and Thanksgiving, I'm done with dairy. Luckily, there's a raspberry sorbet version. Now, Snoop, we can hear your clicky clacks. You gotta stop walking around, I can hear your clicky clacks. I love you. So first what you're supposed to do is make your filling. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right, so in my food processor or personal blender, which is this, I don't think I can fit a cord organizer on that. You stick in seven to eight ounces of fresh raspberries. That one has fuzz on it, so we'll get rid of that. Should I wash them? Is that a thing? Ugh, I'll rinse them. So this is six ounces. Okay, those two have mold on them. Gross, those have mold on them. Have you ever gotten a raspberry or blackberry thing without any mold? These things go bad fast. That's gross. Okay, so this is like five and a half ounces. So I got a second one. We're just gonna add a little, we're gonna rinse these, I guess. I'm just gonna add a handful. Yeah. That one's moldy. All right, and then you add three to four tablespoons sugar syrup or maple syrup. I'm going agave. So we're gonna do three. My sweet tooth isn't as much as it used to be. Perfect. I blend this all together till it's smooth, and then I pour it into my pint ice cream maker and churn until frozen. Pretty smooth me. Oh, she liquidy smooth. It says one cup and that is eight ounces right there. Love it. So let me get my thingy my bob. So this bad boy, I've had frozen. You just stick this in the freezer. Mmm, delicious. Now, this goes on here. Yep, snapped on. Stick it in. Ready, churn. I don't look up how long I'm supposed to do this for. When the mixture is fully frozen and rises to fill the cooling bowl, the ice cream is ready to serve. Use your mixing spoon to enjoy your ice cream right from the chilled cooling bowl. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. It doesn't say. I don't know. I guess I'll clean up and then look. Cause I made a mess. All right, it's been a few minutes. Nope, still very, very liquidy. Okay, let's keep trying. I really wish it would say how long it took. Just like a rough estimate. Five minutes. 20 minutes, 
40 minutes. Just like let a girl know. I had to look it up. 30 minutes. Why don't they tell you that? Why don't they tell you that in the thing? I'm gonna put this in the corner and let her go to work for 30, for 25 more minutes. So she's just over there making noise and we'll do our thing right here. Is she too loud? I can put her in the other room. Let's put her in the other room. Now, last thing to test, my blowtorch. Have you ever needed a blowtorch in your kitchen? Creme brulee, toasted marshmallows, need to light a candle? The sun is setting into my eyeballs. <laughs> Let's move. Let's, here, ladies and gentlemen. This is when you need to read the instructions, okay? Fill the torch, choose the right butane can. I believe I did that. With the torch upside down, turn the butane can upside down and firmly insert the tip into the torch refill valve. Upside down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think that was it. Turn this, oh, for three to five seconds. Okay, great. Turn the torch upside down and allow it to sit for 10 minutes for butane to stabilize. All right, we're gonna wait 10 minutes and then we'll use it. <laughs> All right. Some marshmallows. Here we go. I'm gonna put some oil on this so my marshmallows don't get stuck. All right, you guys ready? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I'm toasting a marshmallow. This is the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. Right now, right here, right now. St Everyone needs to buy one of these. Every single person in the entire world. My house smells like um, a s'more. My house smells like a s'more right now. Oh my. Look at that. It looks terrible. But you all know this smells good. It is toasted marshmallows. Yes, son. Oh. So wait, if you want it to stay on. Oh. You can make, I didn't realize you could do that. Okay, and then you, and then close. Oh, this is good. Yes. I probably shouldn't shake that. I am mad at myself for not owning that earlier. I feel like that could come in handy for so many things. Cause you know vegan cheese don't melt. Oh, I'll blow that up. I don't have any right now. But oh, yes, son. All right, we got about 10 more minutes on that ice cream. That's sorbet. Let's go to that. All right, this thing's been going for 30 minutes. Okay, all right. It's sorbet-y. Could maybe could have gone for a little bit longer. But that is some sorbet, let's go. Very seedy. That's probably why they put it through a food processor instead of a blender. Mmm. Mmm. This is good though. Oh, that's fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I like this. Oh, a healthy little dessert, if you will. Oh yeah. Listen, it took a little while. It was a little loud and annoying. And it took its sweet time. But it did what it said it was gonna do. You just rinse this and keep it in your freezer. They give you a list of ingredients you need. It's just like milk and sugar. And then you can add different things to make it flavored. We could have ice cream. Fresh homemade ice cream, whatever you want. This is good. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm I'm a fan. Oh, I'm a fan. This is a yes. Oh, I have a throat freeze. I can't stop though, it's so good. Oh goodness, this is delicious. Wins across the board. Dang. To the outro. Mm. All right, guys, that's it for today. We had some amazing products. All cheap, all bought on Amazon. I will put my affiliate associate, I don't remember what Amazon calls it, link down below. Or if you hit that, there's a link to all the products. And if you do buy it through those links, I get like a cent. You don't have to. But I will give an honest, gosh darn review. I promise. Anyway, the links for this down below. This was amazing. I am so happy. I am satisfied. I don't think this could have gone better. We got things done. I'm proud of us. You and I together, we did it. Salute. I love you guys. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Make sure you check out my vlog channel where I am doing Vlogmas starting December 1st. I also released new merch. If you want to go check that out, the link is down below as well as a little Christmas holiday theme. It's limited edition. It's only for December. So please go get it. And today's the last day you can use my unladylike code to get 20% off your order. I love you all and we'll see you next time. Bye.